This is part five of the Great Britain album stamp collection. I think it's been pretty interesting. Um, if you haven't watched the previous ones, you should. It's a this is an incredible video group of videos, and you know, part one obviously starts with the Penny Black and a. Uh, uh, a view of the of the stamp album this is where we left off and you can see in part four and you can see the person who was the curator of this album put as many stamps as they had in the stamp page this is um, postage due page three but on the other side this person put all their extras so that's incredible. There are more extras than there are stamps. And that's really the main reason I'm doing this video is because to give this person their kudos and acknowledgement of the incredible uh, time that they put into developing this, this um, stamp album, which to me is almost like a piece of art. All right, so now we are on Channel Islands, it says R1, so I don't know what R1 stands for. The other one was PD, which I knew was postage due. And look at this one. This one even has the um, the margin. Is that crazy? I I don't know if I've ever seen, what year is it? 1941. I don't know if I've seen any of these old, old stamps with the uh, margins. Okay, anyway. So he has this black paper on the other side. And then he puts, I guess, related stamps or extras. And they're all, they're all hinged. They're all hinged. Some are uh, unused and some are used. All right. So I'm doing my best to go as fast as I can. So now look, see, now this one is almost, it's only missing one. You know? Look at this. It's only missing one stamp. You know, I would almost, I almost feel like buying that stamp just to put it in here. Look at this. 1950s and 60s. Queen Elizabeth. But look on the other side. There's more stamps on the other side than there are there. In part two, this is part five. In the end of part two, I was so curious to know what was behind the black paper that I took a uh, took that knife there and um, I cut behind it and uh, it's it's blank. So I guess I mean over here it was good enough to put hinges on. So I guess on the other side he just wanted to do something special. I mean, it's crazy, man. So anyway, here. Regional issues. This is taking forever, I know. But, you know, I think it's worth it. And that one has a margin. These are all unused. The whole page is unused. Oh, and this page is missing nothing. And then we have this page. Let me know what you think about what this person did with putting these extra stamps on the other side. Um... You might think it was a bad idea. It does throw some some coloring from the stamps onto the white. You can see it. So that, was, that looked like an interesting, uh, I've seen an interesting cancel. Look at this cancel. Nice, it's, it's just dark. So if you see, um, let me know what you think about that. RA3. Okay, so R is regional. With phosphor bands. Missing a few. Look at that. Is that crazy? I don't know if they're all used. Yeah, that's a light cancel. Yeah, light can't. I think those are. They're all canceled, I believe. I think that's a, yeah, that's a light cancel. 
<laughs> um, of course, some people look at this. This 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 one has nothing. It's just black page. This I'm saying. This is such an interesting stamp book. If nothing else, it's interesting and worth the watch. So I know some people are gonna maybe think that this is like sacrilege or a horrible idea. I don't know. I like it. I got all these extra stamps. So for me, this is great. Obviously, if it if it destroyed a million dollar stamp, then I would say it's not great. Unless I wouldn't have even got the destroy stamp. Lucky did it again. Had it not been included as an extra. So, well, you let me know what you think. That's what comments are for. Good, bad, or otherwise. Freedom of speech, baby. That's right. You say what you want. I get people telling me all the time I think my videos suck. That's all right. It's all good. Look at this. Look at this. This is bananas, man. Now, okay, so you know, I have to know. I got my coffee here, man. I gotta have a sip. Hopefully I don't get any on the stamps, right? I have to know if he went over something with this. What is, what's here? You know what, let's go here. Cause it'll say the page. Is there a page number there? Oh, we have to find it. I have to go further. I have to know, man. Like in uh, Clint Eastwood. Remember Clint Eastwood? Um, oh, man. With a, he, a Dirty Harry where he has the, the 357. And he goes, did I shoot five? And he goes, I know what you're thinking. Did I shoot five or did I shoot six? And then he goes to walk away. And the uh, the guy goes to, to, to Dirty Harry. I's got to know. <laughs> he pulls the trigger, and it's uh, it was empty, so he knew it was empty. All right, let's see. So there's nothing there. So now we now we got to know. We got to know, and it's uh. So there's the blank pages. So so this. <laughs> so he said, you know what? You're gonna give me blank pages. I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna put. More stamps in this album. How? I mean, this is ridiculous, man. So he did it again. He did it again. I love when they have that gold frosted look. Um, it just reminds me of something eerie and beautiful. That's the other side. Anyway, let me know what you think about all this. I did it again. Now, is it all the way through like this? It is. It is. So, you know what I'm going to do? As all the rest, as you can see, are all, all the same. I'm going to stop here and um, make part six the final tribute to this. Uh, I don't know. For me, this is amazing. You let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.